why don't we go around the horn, maybe a final observation before we uh, pick it for the evening, and then we all jump back on the air tomorrow, tomorrow morning, starting with uh, Bo and James. All right, Bo, your biggest observation of the evening or whatever you'd like to give your parting words. Well, I, I think, number one, you know, a lot of liars poker for two months. And if you believed it, you're a fool because there, there was just no way that, that some of the stuff that was – it's always so transparent, you know, like Miami stuff was so transparent. Um, so so that, that would be the number one lesson. Joe Burrow, my God, man. I mean, from Athens and the Plains to number one overall, the stones it took to go to LSU, my God, that was – with no promise and of, of starting at a place that hadn't developed – quarterbacks and hadn't played consistent offensive football in the passing game and to go there and to just say it's on me uh I, that's just that's the thing that that absolutely uh steals the day obviously and then just from the Browns perspective I'll tell you there's no way they thought Jedrick Wills would be there at 10 no chance um I think the only guy they would have taken over Wills is Isaiah Simmons if he would have been there that would have been an interesting debate uh but they thought Wills they had Wills graded number one on their board um, Joe Thomas thought it was a big difference between him and the rest of the tackle. So they get their guy at number 10 and now they feel pretty good about where their offensive line is. So uh, it's going to be an incredible day too, and an incredible end of the rest of the first round boys. All right. Great job, Bo. Best to you and the fam bone. Knock oh, it out, buddy. I'll keep mine short and sweet. Uh, if I've got to hang out with anybody, I'm hanging out with Cliff Kingsbury and I'm not hanging out with Zach Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> of the Those setups are just <laughs> night and day night and day buddy no you guys have been great it's been fun i've been watching it up on the uh, old roku upstairs i had that in the draft kind of flipping back and forth so good job by all i've enjoyed uh seeing you guys talking with you and watching as well so thank you guys for doing this thanks scotty vegas for putting this on it's great yeah. good job man no doubt uh all right bids uh you were king of the castle tonight with your bangles at number one uh your final thoughts this evening yeah, the biggest thing, obviously, guys, is just the first program in history to have the first three picks being recruits from the same school. Obviously, Joe Burrow made his name at LSU, but Ohio State becomes the first school to have players that they sign be the top three picks in a singular NFL draft. And it's amazing. We'll probably never see that again. And what's crazy is Joe Burrow's the one that got away, right? And now he comes right back to Ohio in Cincinnati. Yeah, as a Bengal fan, I'm fired up about it. All right, Timmy. Yeah, just cool night here in the Hall household, having the two football fans here picking number one and number two overall. We hope that we're not going to have to do this many more times because you know you've got a crappy football team if you're picking this high up. It's the, it's the one thing that we know about in, in football. But the, the other thing to hit with Joe Burrow is you got you got to go back and look at when this guy was a recruit coming out of high school. And I just think it's such a – a major success story for how you know, hard work and perseverance still pays off. You know, I mean, the guy didn't win the job at Ohio State. You know, Vanderbilt, Iowa State, uh, decent programs to recruit you, but it's not like this guy was one of those high major recruits that was just going to crush college football all the way through and then be a number one overall draft pick. He had to earn that. I mean, he had to, like Bo said, take a flyer and, and go to LSU and earn the job. And it wasn't until his second season starting – where he had one of the best college football seasons of all time. So that's incredible. I do wonder about the, you know, the, the whole Trent Williams thing from the, the Washington Redskins, what the team is doing with that situation. Now watching all the, the talented tackles that are going off the board, clearly the Browns getting their guy there. So you wonder if they've missed another opportunity to get anything decent back in that, in that trade answer is probably yes, because that's, that's how they run things there. But Hopefully the, the Redskins with Chase Young building up that defensive line enough to maybe have one of the, the best position groups in the league at that spot. Just even think about the Redskins having the best position group at anything is cool. And I'm excited to see Dwayne do it. And how about all them Buckeyes? Yeah. Buckeye yeah, Central. Buckeyes. It's like the, almost like what the Saints were doing. I love it. Keep yeah. it going. The, the hey, Washington Jimmy. Buckeyes. Let's do it. H-T-T-R to you and yours. And Scotty Vegas, maybe you'll cash a ticket or two this evening? Well, you know what? It's been 43 days since I've been able to place a bet. And that finally came to an end yes. tonight. Got the shakes. It, I got it, the shakes. Seriously. Uh, you know, it was the night of the, uh, you know, the start of the Big Ten tournament. Yep. And, uh, you know, it was, there were bets placed that sure. got yeah. refunded. 
And so, no, honestly, you know, getting the, getting the chance to see, uh, you know, sports again on the TV, it's, it's, awesome. it's incredible. And you know what? I'm hoping, obviously, we are all hoping that the NFL season starts on time and, and everything happens. But uh, this, this was a good distraction um, yeah. tonight. Yeah, I mean, I was I knew we were going to need a distraction in May. I wouldn't have been crazy disappointed if they delayed it, but I but now that it was here, I felt like, you know what, it was right because uh we didn't want to keep talking about this for another 4 weeks. Like we couldn't regurgitate, you know, all the mock drafts 8.0 or whatever we were going to get to um was going to be nauseating. So, now that it was here, I'm glad it happened. I'm glad it's gone off without a hitch so far. Um and and my final thoughts I, I've been really excited. I, first of all, Joe Burrow is certainly the story. It's, it's a Disney story. Leaving Ohio, an Ohio kid who le- has the guts to leave Ohio State, gamble on himself. Not that he couldn't have gotten it, but he knew he had a feeling that, that he didn't want to, to roll the dice and battle in fall camp. And um, he knew he was a little bit behind the eight ball there. And then to leave, go to LSU, like Bo said, go to that highest showcase platform, win a Heisman then win a national title, and then become the number one pick in the NFL draft. It, it's a Disney movie. The only yeah. little piece that was left out of it was, and maybe for a good reason, is that we didn't know whether he had to beat Ohio State to get it done at the end. Like that was the last piece of the movie, the last chapter uh, that didn't get played out, that he didn't have to face Ohio State, or maybe he would have welcomed facing Ohio State. Yeah. And if he did, who knows what would have happened. But the final thing is, we're going to get Burrow against Baker awesome. twice a year for the foreseeable future. And awesome. those two guys, they're cut from the same cloth, man. I mean, they, they both have that swag, and they both believe beyond belief. So yeah. Burrow's uh, a killer. That's pretty cool in this division where Lamar Jackson is there, where Ben Roethlisberger's got a couple, you know, a year left or two. The Steelers now find themselves a little bit on the hot seat, which has got to be fun for a Bengal and Browns fan. And uh, so we're going to get Burrow Baker twice a year. It's good stuff. Awesome. All right, guys, want to uh, thank Raisin Canes again, the tailgate packs that we all got tonight, watching the draft. So we want to tell people who are listening still um, that it's super easy to feed the whole family, get the tailgate. All you got to do is order it, pick it up in the drive-thru, or pick it up either in the drive-thru, or they'll come out and give it to you. And then Bobcat Enterprises in Hilliard and Reynoldsburg, Bobcat Equipment, Built tough, priced right. Guys, this was a bargain at any price, man. Great to see some smiling faces, and I think we're all happy with the pick so far, so we'll all uh, reconvene on the air, man. The best to you and your families, and uh, keep watching, sleep tight, and we'll all talk tomorrow. Be good, guys. Take care. Thanks for everybody who joined us. Appreciate it. Well done. Yep. Good night, everybody.